This is the Sony Explode MEX BT5700U. I wanted to do a review and show some of the many features that it has. Looking at the front, it has a bit of a different design than the 3800-00U that I had before. Um, in fact, the difference with this is that the buttons are in different locations. Um, the zap button had its own silver button, and uh, the Bluetooth button was integrated into one of these buttons here. Another thing with uh, the difference is the USB connector actually now has a slot. The old uh, one didn't have one, so you can keep the dust out of it and things like that, and open it and plug in your device. This is a Bluetooth device which supports many profiles. It supports the A2DP Advanced Audio Distribution Profile, the AVRCP Audio Video Remote Control Profile, version 1.3, the HFP hands-free profile 1.5, allowing you to do hands-free calling, the PBAP phone book access profile, and the OPP object push profile, which we'll get there in a minute. Let's show off some of the basic features here. So I'm going to turn it on here. As you see, right now we're in tuner mode. And the little thing that's flashing, it's going to connect to my phone. You'll see it come up in a minute. There it is, connection complete, Jason's iPhone. Then you'll see another connection coming up to do, right there, the A2DP profile, Jason's iPhone. So once it's programmed, and it wasn't even hard to do, really. But once it's programmed, you are able to use the hands-free uh, for making calls and receiving calls and things like that. And you're also able to wirelessly stream music through your iPhone or other capable devices. And it has some little background things going and things like that. Uh, I'll go through some of uh, the features here that has the menu features. So you have the option to have the demo mode, Sony's demo mode thing. Auto off is if your car is an accessory or the the device remains on when it will turn off within so time. Um, this is a remote control that you can purchase for the steering wheel. It's a steering wheel remote. You can invert it depending on how you have it on uh, the steering wheel to turn it up around. I don't actually have that, so I can't really talk much about that. The beep, the clock adjustment, and uh, the BTM which um, basically it programs your stations in tuner mode with all the things such as um, the highest signal rate, things like that. That's what BTN mode does when you're in tuner mode. The ability for mono, in case uh, the signal isn't as good, you can turn mono on with the tuner for FM radio. Uh, this is all basic stuff. Let's go into the image here. Image. This allows you to select different images to be displayed. And um, a little smudge there. It smudges easy, that's for sure. You have the ability to select between different images that are in the background when there's information on the screen. This is a little movie thing that's playing. We have the ability to do uh, audio meters. There's three of them. This is kind of the wave thing. You have the option to have it go through all of the stuff, like all of the audio meters. You even have the ability um, to go through everything. So you have wallpaper, predefined wallpaper images. And then all is going to go through the movies, the uh, audio meter things, and the wallpapers, and all that stuff. So that's what that feature does. I usually keep it at SA all because I, I, like the, I like the audio meters to show so it rotates to them. And they're not really as distracting as you would think they would be. Uh, I'm just, I'm kind of used to it. Okay, let's get on to some of the famous features that this is known for. And that is with the profiles for your phone books and things like that in the unit. 
I'm going to go over to Bluetooth phone. Okay. First of all, when you do receive a call, the device, the Sony Explode unit here, will come up with the name and the number of the person calling. So if you're someone like me and you keep your phone in your pocket right when you get in the car and then you don't always put it out and put it in the dock cradle. I have a dock cradle for it in my window, but I don't always use it. About half the time I don't use it. My phone's in my pocket. You get a call coming in. Um, you're wrestling in your pocket while you're driving or pulling over trying to pull the phone out because you want to see who it is before you answer. I'm someone who likes to know who's calling before I answer. So with that being able to cause an accident, with this particular head unit, it allows you to see who's calling on the screen. It'll show the name, whoever's in your contacts list, or whatever for the display name, and the number. So you can leave the phone in your pocket, and then when you receive a call, you can talk hands-free via the car speakers and um, either the internal microphone or the external microphone that you can mount in your visor or anywhere that you please. And that is included with this unit the external microphone. The other thing you see here is it will show you the signal, the cell signal of your phone on capable devices, this works on the iPhone 4, and the battery power that you have on your phone directly on the screen. So you don't even have to take out your phone if you don't want to. You can leave it right in your pocket and know, well, gee, what do I have for battery power left? Am I gonna be able to go here and there or will I have to have a charge first or I'm gonna, you know, not be without a phone? Okay, or your signal, which is cool. Okay, let's get into some of the Bluetooth functions here. The Bluetooth functions. First of all, device name. You have the option to name the device. By default, it comes up as Explode. I have it called MEX space BT5700U. And you might want to rename this device in case you have a bunch of other cars with different Sony units or you want to give it a name so you know what you're selecting in your phone. You can name it whatever you want. Car 1, Car 2, anything. I just named it that and then that's what it shows up on my phone and then I pair it. Visibility. You have the option to show or hide, which, which means if this is available to other phones to be visible, um, when the unit's on and then you go into search mode on your Bluetooth device, such as your phone, it will show up in that list. This allows you to have up to seven things paired. It will remember seven devices, Bluetooth devices on this unit. So if you have different members in your family that use this and share the same car and they have Bluetooth devices, you can program them all simply and then it's able to use any of those devices. So if somebody gets in the car and then the next person gets in the car afterwards to use it or something, it will pair up automatically. You don't know having to do anything else. You know, just go on the fly. You have the option to turn the Bluetooth signal on or off if you want to use Bluetooth or not. Initialize resets everything. The mic select allows you to select between the internal and external. I have the external mic mounted over my visor. The mic gain, this is cool. This allows you to set the gain of the mic. I find that plus two works the best. So you have between negative two and plus two. So you can boost the mic depending on how far away it is from you. And you have the echo cancellation noise cancellation mode. Echo and noise cancellation mode. And these modes in the booklet, you can read about it. You can either have it off mode one or mode two. Mode one is standard for noise and echo cancellation. It actually works really good, the echo cancellation, and it's clear. I find that having the microphone, the external mic mounted over the visor works a lot better <laughs> than the internal mic, and it's just right there. Um, you could even put it over your dash if you wanted to, but over the visor seems to work really good. You have the option to use a built-in ringtone that this unit has, or if your phone is capable of, the ringtone coming from your phone to go through the Bluetooth. So your ringtone that you set will be heard through Bluetooth. Auto answer, you have the option to answer. Uh, short and long. Short is, what happens is the phone rings and 
in three seconds after it shows the information on the screen that it will automatically answer the call, pick up. So if you want to answer every call, auto answer. Long is it will automatically answer within 10 seconds unless you press the off button, which would be the ignore button. If you don't, it will pick up after 10 seconds. I usually leave it off because, well, I don't want it to always pick up my calls. Maybe I want to ignore some calls, or I might not even be in the car, but my stereo will be left on, and maybe my phone's near it, so the Bluetooth is on, and then it would just automatically pick up, which would be pointless. But that option is there. The device list, to be able to show all the devices that are paired into the explode unit, my phone, and a couple of my friends, which have A2DP. Uh, one of them was their iPod, which has Bluetooth, and then another friend was an Android phone that plays A2DP, and then my phone, the iPhone 3G, which is currently paired, as you can see, with the little icons on the right. The search function allows the device to search for other Bluetooth devices that you have. And then it'll actually pick it up, show it, and you can pair it. Now, pairing is pretty easy. Once you get your device to show up and you want your device to pair with this explode unit, comes up for a password. I just enter 0000 on the unit here and then 0000 on the device I want to pair, and then it pairs up. And you can even select whatever code right here because you do have the option of using the remote, which is pretty handy. Now, you can dial out. There is the option to dial out with the unit. Once I get uh, into here, there we go, call menu. If you want to dial out, you have to use the remote control, but that option is there, dial. What happens when you, you want to make a call is it would come up. Oh, my device here has turned off. That's because I went into here, hands free connect. We'll reconnect it here, and then we'll be able to see. My phone will pick up, there we go. All right, call menu, dial. You can dial a number if you have the remote handy, and it will let you dial out, and then you can press the call button. That's pretty handy. Again, if you left your phone in your pocket and you don't want to wrestle it while you're driving to get it out and things like that, you can pull out the remote and dial. I usually keep the remote underneath a little cubby where it's handy to pick up. All right, let's look at other things. Recent calls, who has called you? And my mom and my aunt and some friends, so it will keep a recent calls list. You have the option in your phone book. You can download, this is cool, this is what the PBAP, the phone book access profile, allows you to do, is it will download your contacts from your phone into this unit, or you could browse it live through Bluetooth, which is a bit slower, it connects to your phone and goes through your phone, but downloading it to this unit allows you quick access to it, and then you can, you know, <laughs> call people right on the unit you have your contacts and everything and the receive PB allows you to download the contacts from the phone into the unit alright and there's a security feature if you want to lock the phone book so that nobody can you know come in here and bring up any contacts or anything like that they need to put a passcode in which can be any for thing here one to six or it can be on the remote, which is, you know, one to nine and zero. And that's pretty much the big seller of the unit. It is one of the reasons I got it. You still have your auxiliary and USB in everything. The quality of it is pretty good. And actually, I'll go through some of the settings on the unit. Now, another thing here in Bluetooth audio, if your device, your Bluetooth device, your phone allows it, it will actually send the information that's playing with the music wirelessly, like the artist and things like that. All right, I'm going to go into the audio settings. All right, 
You have the option for a subwoofer tune. You're allowed to do a low pass frequency from 80 hertz up to 160. I leave it off because mine has a low pass uh, selector on the actual unit. All right, high pass frequency and speaker select. You have the option to select the front speakers, the back speakers, or both for a high pass filter. And the frequency between 80 and 160 hertz. So the frequencies below 160 hertz are cut off to the car speakers because the sub picks up. The sub picks up about 200 hertz. DSO gives you, uh, it changes the dynamics of the sound to give you what's supposed to be a virtual sound experience. Uh, I found that it gives you slightly better highs and it's supposed to increase the richness of the music. Not really my thing. I like the way original music is, so I leave it off. Bluetooth audio level allows you to select the audio level of your Bluetooth device in case it's distorting or not loud enough. And you can go up to 18 decibels. I leave mine at zero. Yeah, the parametric EQ. <laughs> Excuse me. Parametric EQ. I have custom. And this is how I tune it. Now, I'll show you some things here. This has got a three band adjustable EQ. One, two, three. This right here, though, what you're seeing is called a Q set. In the Sony manual, it's called a Q set. This allows you to kind of tweak the frequency in that area. For instance, so I set my level four decibels. I go over and select the frequency, and it just slightly adjusts the curve. 60 works best for me. You can't go any farther than that. Then you go over, and then you can select the width of the curve. Mine 0 0.5. See how it kind of changes it? So it allows you to tweak it a bit. The same is for the middle. And to the right. So the low, medium, and high. So when you go to adjust it, And the same as for the high. Ah, there you go. So you adjust it to whatever sounds better for you. That's pretty much how it looks for me. So you have the option to be able to tweak it just a bit. And that's pretty much that. All the other features that you have in here is a quick browser. Allows you to bring up the list of songs if your iPod's plugged in via USB or you have a USB memory stick. And then you have the zap feature. And what the zap feature does is it allows you to go through songs randomly. It will choose songs randomly and play it a sample for three seconds, mid-song or whatever. And then when you like it, you hit the zap button again and it plays it from the beginning. So instead of you going, next, 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 oh, I think I like that one, oh, no, next, next, you can use the zap feature and it goes through all your songs, play a sample, and then be like, oh, yeah, I want to listen to that, press the zap button again, and it plays it from the beginning. So, yeah, hopefully this uh, review and the looks of it was not really too long. I happen to enjoy the unit. It is pretty good. It shows a lot of useful information. You got the time in the corner. It gives you your battery life of your phone, the signal of the phone. It allows you to see who's calling, name and number for incoming calls, and your address book, your phone book, and the ability to dial out using a remote control, things like that. It's very useful. And with the external mic, it sounds pretty good. The quality of the calls and everything, it sounds pretty good. They only come through the front speakers, but it's great. I enjoy this unit, and uh, yeah. So that's my thoughts on it. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video of the Sony Explode MEX BT5700U. If you like our videos, well, why not subscribe and check out the other videos that we have? Don't forget, subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Macintech. I'm Jason, and we'll chat at you later.